Hi there and welcome. This is Julie. Today I'm sharing a New Year's layout I've just completed using the spruced up paper collection from Close to My Heart. First up, you're going to need two cardstock bases. This is Espresso and I've used the light side. I've also gone ahead and I've ink distressed all of the pieces, so the base pages and these cut pieces that you're seeing here. I just like the edges when they're all ink distressed. So first up is the Sangria pattern paper and it's been paired up with this stripe pattern paper which is quite bold but it works for this New Year's layout. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue those down using liquid glue and I like liquid glue for this application because I'm uh, trying to leave a quarter inch border all the way around and it gives me a little bit of time to kind of manipulate my pieces if they're not exactly straight. So I'm going to go ahead and follow through with this last piece, which is a pattern piece. It is not a zip strip. If you're familiar with Close to My Heart, this is part of the collection and it is the wood grain um, pattern paper. So I'm going to move along to the next side, which is uh, I'm going to line up my Sangria pattern paper with the left page and I'm going to make sure that my base pages are lining up so that when I'm gluing that piece down it's running seamlessly across both pages. So the last piece here is the stripe pattern paper and I'm leaving that quarter inch border all the way around and you'll notice here that oops I didn't cut that quite right and this is where this piece came about and I'm going to add that piece of paper and I actually really like the visual break between the two patterns so there's no mistakes in scrapbooking. Here I'm laying down my photo mats and I'm going to continue on working on the left, left side of this double page layout. So I'm going to put down my title and I felt that it was easier for me anyways to flip my layout on the horizontal as I am placing the letters to spell out celebrating. Um, this title was cut in design space and I've uh, gone ahead and I got this font from thefont.com. Uh, they're free and I always like to kind of look at all of the possibilities when I'm trying to put in a title. So these were cut in Sangria cardstock and because of that busy background of the stripe I actually inked on top with Sangria ink just to make it pop even more. Um, otherwise it kind of got lost uh, and I wanted my, my, of course I wanted my title to pop off the page. So that's a little tip for you. So next up here we are putting down that 5x7 photo mat. I'm using the longest of the pendants that are on the right side and then I'm adding my little cluster just trying to figure out where that um, photo mat's going to live on that page. I'm using my trusty T-square to make sure everything is nice and straight and what's a New Year's layout without a couple of champagne glasses? I'm going to add my little cluster underneath the, um, the photo here and then I'm going to add all of my pennants. So my pennants go from 10 to 1 or 1 to 10. It's a countdown and they've been glued down only at the edge because I didn't have my papers, uh, not my papers, but my photos printed. So this way I can come back and slide it underneath and then just glue them down. So here we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue down that little cluster piece and uh, I really really like this bonding memory glue pen or hope it comes back. Uh, I love it because it's very forgiving and I tend to get glue all over I guess because I'm a messy scrapbooker. But I'm going to put that down and I'm adding the glue to the back side and I'm using a post-it note pad because I always say don't work on your work otherwise you're going to make a mess which I've done many many times. So you kind of learn as you go. <laughs> Here I'm adding a little bit of glue on the one side but I'm leaving the side where the photo is going to be um, like free of glue just so that when I put my photo in later on it's not going to interfere with anything sticking down. These two uh, little champagne flutes they were cut out in white glitter paper. I'm not sure if it shows on camera but they, they look actually pretty cute. I'm putting them down with 3D foam tape. I'm using both the thin and the regular foam tape to give it extra dimension. So here's a little close-up of those 
pieces that are done in design space and that is the uh, die cut piece that is in that same collection. So we're going to move right along to the right side of this double page spread and we're going to put down the second piece or the second part of this title pretty much the same way I did it on the other side. I flipped my page over and I'm adding all of my letters here as you can see. I am going to use my um, T-square, line everything up, and we're just going to keep on adding everything down. So the little sprigs here are done in two pieces, so uh, in espresso, and then the berries are done in sangria. I did ink both of those as well. And I thought, you know, this is a New Year's layout, so why not add a little bit of clear shimmer pen to the berries? You will notice that I'm wiping some of the shimmer off only because when you add clear to a darker cardstock, it tends to look a little bit silver. So just something to be mindful of. And uh, I'm going to continue on adding my little clusters and I'm actually using that stripe to line up my photo mats. So that way I don't have to take out my set square or I don't have to take out my T square, I should say. And I can go ahead and put down my photo mats. So again, I'm going to use my post-it note and I'm going to add a little bit of glue at the back side of those Cricut pieces and I'm going to tuck them in underneath the photo mat and I'm not pressing them down, not quite just yet. I'm not sure if this is where it's going to live. I'm going to add them all in and then I'm going to, you know, kind of fuss with them until I can see all of them uh, the way that they were meant to be seen, I guess. So here I'm adding again only on the one side of this uh, die cut so that it, if it interferes with the picture, I can still play, place my photo underneath and I'll have uh, the opportunity to do that later. So last cluster that's going on here is mostly the um, die cuts and that little um, cluster piece is from the Cricut uh, piece. I'm going to add my photo, use my pattern paper here to line up <laughs> my photo mat, which is great. And then I'm going to add these little pieces down right on top. These ones are actually on the top. They're not uh, underneath and all the little branches are lining up at the bottom. So this last piece is going on with thin 3D foam tape because of the thickness of all of the pieces it just needed a little bit of dimension and then lastly this is part of the die cut and it was perfect right it says good times so that went down with uh, just regular foam tape these really cute uh, wood shapes are also part of this collection and I just really really like these snowflakes they're really unique looking and I'm putting them down in kind of a kind of like a triangle formation, if you wish. <laughs> it, it's a little bit elongated, but uh, I always try and do it that way. It kind of is more uh, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And here, well, what's um, a um, New Year's layout without a bit of sparkles, right? So I'm adding a couple of sparkles here and there. Again, kind of going like three at a time and trying to form a bit of a triangle like elongated, you know, that way they're all distributed evenly. And when I started putting down those sparkles, I thought, hmm, I think that title needs to be sparkly too. So I went back and I added a little bit of clear uh, shimmer brush on my letters. And uh, again, because I'm using clear and I'm going on a dark cardstock, I'm kind of wiping off where there's extra uh, shimmer so that it doesn't look silver. It just makes it all sparkle and uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. So here we're almost done. I wanted to show you that the inspiration was all of these little uh, branches which are part of the die cuts and oh, looks like I needed a couple more sparkles because it is celebrating after all, right? <laughs> so I really like the way that this turned out and here you're going to see in a minute um, those nice little snowflakes. They're really unique looking. I really like the shape of them. So here's the completed layout. I hope that you've enjoyed this little process video. I will link all of the pro products that I've used down below. And if you'd like to get more information on this layout, because it is one of three, please visit me at the Scrap Zone. Thank you and have a happy new year.